we gave our baby, album three, to the perfect director and it was his filter. I think that's what was so cool about this film project. And these videos were, I think, a great medium and I like this idea that once you watch it, you can't not see that when you listen to it. We want to show people that this album, our third album called Three, is different. How do we actually show people it's different? And mm. it seemed like, wow. You weren't trying to like handcuff me. And that was great because I felt, well, I'm just going to go for it. And hopefully, you know, they dig. Exactly. That's pretty much on action. He's getting uh, backed out. So That's the idea. Yeah. So this one's Gloria. Now this was the first video we saw, correct? Yeah. Mm -hmm. and I loved how this, this really confronted the subject matter. Whether you liked it or not, you're gonna have to stare this in the eye, you know, like, if you're gonna watch the video. Mm -hmm. I mean, even like the way the ambulance peels out, and me and Wes, you know, we have a little, this is like a pop-up video VH1. Uh, there we are, there in The actor Josh Close. Yep. Me and Wes were there for probably two hours just in that one gurney scene. Josh is incredible. Like, yeah. there was a scene that you don't even really see it. Like, there's a scene where right there, Josh, they're like, you have to leave. So you have, and he's like, all right, all right. Yeah. Oh, sir. Okay, come on, come on. Baby, I'm right here. Come on, come on, come on. Okay. And that's when I feel like I got a little taste of like, wow, oh, we're in, this is a film. It's not some, you know, music video or just something. This is, everybody's into it. No, right he's now. a very serious actor. It was Extremely very, but sensitive, the whole thing like, was very serious. They just were so infectious to be around that. We were able to surround ourselves with an incredible cast and crew that like totally dedicated themselves to the project. Set and action. <laughs> and, Filmmaking ultimately is a collaborative effort, you know, as much as music is. And I, in that sense, those two like are kind of analogous. This is uh, Donna from Chapter One. And I remember getting goosebumps. Me and Wes were like, this opening shot, that's so good. There is a keen idea to kind of um, uh, explore the absurdity of like family photos at like a the Kmart. The Sears photo. I remember Sears you Robux called me about kind that of, yeah, idea. Exactly. That I, my head kind of exploded with like, wow. What I love about this video too is like, it's almost like the pilot of the film. You reveal so much about the intricacies and the sure. complexities of the characters and the dynamics between the whole entire cast. It wasn't easy to be happy for you. I just love this video too, because it's sort of like you said, the reset. It's the first track of chapter two, introducing Junior. Kind of gives you the illusion that his life is sick. He's making out with a girl, smoking a doob on a truck. Yeah, Later we find out mud. his life might not be that sick. No, exactly. I wanted this to be light and have fun with it. I like this whole moment that was happening, especially watching it being filmed because there was so little daylight left. There was a little bit of danger in shooting it because everybody knew there wasn't another take necessarily. Right. Like if she drops that jacket or that shirt, it's gonna get all muddy. We can't keep doing that. It's not even gonna look right. I mean, this whole shoot was supposed to be like an in, uh, incredible sunset <laughs> vista, right? And then of course it was uh, Portland and it was just like miserably cold and raining. And um, we Should were in this job. field filled with like sheep shit and mud. <laughs> And, uh, you know. And then this part, he did this a couple times, but he got it, I think, oh, on yeah. the first try. Uh, adamant professional, this kid. <laughs> and, like, just, you kind of just, at this point, he knew his character. Uh, I think this was his last day of <laughs> oh, filming. Like... And you just let him go, you know? True talent, pure mm -hmm. talent. Absolutely. The song is called Leader of the Landslide off of Chapter Two. This song really kind of lifted off for me immediately. And um, this moment right here was one of the more potent moments in the song. I liked this idea of uh, Junior and his mom overlooking him. 
hit this memory of this woman that we as an audience don't know yet, but we can kind of start to put the pieces together. Yeah, we're about to come onto the scene in our pickup trucks. This was our other cameo. I had, I was wearing a shirt that said, your mama's so fat. <laughs> and baggy camo pants. Uh-huh. I was living the dream. You looked great. Drove me insane. Drank the whole bottle. I love this scene because it's almost like, he, in his mind, in his drug state, Jimmy's almost like, I'm a good dad. He's you trying know? to relate to his son how he can. <laughs> yeah. You know, he's just trying to connect. He does, there's love there, you know, there's dimensionality. Uh, but he's also completely unhinged. She lived, she lived. You know, that kung fu thing's the best. The writing's on the wall. Please believe. You know, oh. I just took two to the yeah, chin. Yeah, you did. <laughs> How much do you take? Like, just a little bit. Just a little sip. Yeah, and then, yeah, just kind of rub it around. Perfect. Yeah, that looks nice. <laughs> what? You can you can cheat over a little bit. I see. Can, can you even see the punches from there? Like, are they in frame? Yeah. Yeah. Right out. Okay. Yeah. So come there. Okay. Kind of kind of cross the space a little. Yeah, just a little bit. Standing where over there. Yeah. I got you. Standing here cheated so much. Yeah. Okay. That's <laughs> Man, I wish we. Yeah, I'm sorry we didn't. Wanted another angle on that. <laughs> Uh, we wanted blood. Spreading. I wanted. I wanted blood exploding out of your face. Um, I really did. <laughs> this is left for Denver. It's a callback to Donna. This is a relic of history for this character. I think for this house. Here's a character that grew up in this house, never knew his grandma Gloria, um, but. It's a, the piano uh, acts as this, um, how do you call it, touchstone, I think, that uh, carries itself through the generations. It was all... When I watch it, it feels like, how do you break the cycle? One way you could say is to cut all your ties or to like try to forget about yeah. these people that have hurt you, that you love, you know? So in a way, I felt like him lighting it on fire is just, he's desperately trying to not get sucked into this vortex, yeah. you know, that he's seeing his dad and his, what he heard about his grandma go through. We're, we're at a breaking point with this character here. I think he's already determined uh, by way of just like lighting this shit on fire to like kind of uh, get out or do something, make some sort of brash move. He's a kid, ultimately, uh, and he doesn't have the best role models and you know, we're just kind of uh, leaving with the impression that um, probably can't be good what he's going to do, but. But he's trying. But he's yeah. trying something. He's making, he's taking some semblance of action. Jimmy Sparks went into bars and opened up his mouth. This is Jimmy Sparks off chapter three. I was really moved by him trying to light his cigarette. It, when I watch this, I like actually think he can't light it like he's that injured. You know, it's very incredible acting because yeah. it's so close and he's uh -huh. shaking. And Nick Stahl, like, I mean, just unbelievable. Like, you just kind of put the camera on and have a few words and just let him go. This shot wasn't originally going to last as long as it did, but um, like he did such a good job. With yeah, it. I'm just like, this is great. This is exactly what it should be. We have so little time to tell a long story, but it makes you really understand him quickly and like him, I think. Like, I just, I'm not doing it right, I think, because when I'm landing, my neck's going like this. It's like, yeah. it's like, uh... And three, two, one, action. You yeah. realize that he's a flawed person, but there's a lot to like. This is 
Salt and Sea as the final video. This is just kind of bringing everything full circle, right? You start the whole project off with a family portrait, and so there was a, there was a desire to kind of bookend it with something similar. And it, now we're seeing the, the family entire, as we've seen them over the course of the whole narrative, brought together in this otherwise like surreal kind of, uh, almost like dreamscape. He is in your all that you suffer. And for me, it's a, it's a, it's very much kind of Jimmy's in internal kind of um, construction here, this impossible uh, group group photo that kind of just like spans generations. I love this too because I mean, for a film contextualization, this is a short film. I mean, what does it run at the whole thing? Forty-two minutes. And by the time you get to that scene, you see all the family members. You have flashbacks of like if it's been a full feature film, which obviously it wasn't, but. You made it feel like that somehow, which is so interesting. Yeah, you know, I think Jimmy uh, takes the common sense he has and he's just like, this is a chance for Junior to like just actually go like he was planning on. He's not gonna like, he's not gonna try to like hold him down anymore. It felt like, you know, unlike giving him the beer in that scene, this yeah, is yeah, his yeah. chance to actually help his son. Totally. And he tries to step up in his own warped way, but it's really sweet. That scene of him running is one of my favorites. Yeah. That's a callback yeah. to Gloria as well, when Gloria's just running away from everything at the end. Is you know, Junior running away, away from responsibility. Mm -hmm. I mean, that, the, the, the whole intent, I think, here is that, you know, there is no, there is no answer. No, I know. Like, it's, who, yeah, who knows, like you know? I think that's the whole intention. These are stories about, like, the human condition. The level of nuance and detail that you kind of, you know, hone in on in your songs, I mean, it's wonderful because it once can be like very literal and at other times be like very figurative and you could take it where you want to take it. Um, and so I think that's why people respond to this so well to this album because you know, you kind of got something there for anyone if they want it. <laughs>